What do you do when God doesn't answer the prayer in the way that you prayed? What do you do when God says no? These are questions that many of us are asking. And as Christians, we have to recognize this is a real reality that many people face. There are so many people in this world who have gone through such tragedy, such pain, such hurt. And we can't ignore that. And we can't act like it isn't there. If anything, we need to be on the first line of response when people are going through hard times and then potentially when those hard times do occur. The Word of God, it shares about carrying one another's burdens. As men and women of God, it's on us to carry one another when we're down in the dumps and we're feeling hurt and we're feeling pain. Recently in my life, a coworker of mine has lost her mom and is now potentially going to lose her husband. She's gone through immense grief, immense pain. And all I can think about is just the pain that she's experienced, the sadness, the sorrow, the tears that just happened in this past year. It grieves me. And I think this is exactly how the Lord feels when he sees his creation go through pain. I think he sees our hurt. He sees the damage we're going through. He wants to hold us with his loving arms despite the circumstances that we might go through. Death is assured, but thankfully there is life that is to come. Thankfully, we have a hope in our Savior that is Jesus Christ. We have a love that is unlike any other that is found in Him and Him alone. What got me through the tough times when I was a young child, experiencing such pain and such hurt, was my faith. It was the only thing that I could cling to. When I heard no's, when I went through seeing drug addiction, alcohol addiction, when I saw sickness, when I saw hurt, the only thing that got me through was my faith in Jesus. The only thing that is going to get us through the pains of this day, the hardships of this day, is our faith, our sin, our hurt. Everything that we go through can only be able to be overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And the word of our testimony is because we're able to put on record where God has come through for us, where God has transformed us, where God has healed us, where he showed up in the valley, where he showed up on the mountaintop. At every moment, God has been there in your life. He has been there through the pain. He's been there through the tears. He's been there through all situations. But what we often do when things don't go our way is we run so far from him. Instead of running from him, why don't we run to him? Why don't we say, oh God, here I am. Here I am with my hurt. Here I am with the things that I'm feeling on the inside. I feel at times, God, you don't even want me to come to you. I just want to share that today. I want to share, God, that I feel like I don't really think you hear me. Just share whatever you're feeling with the Lord. He can handle it. He's seen his own son die on a cross. He's seen the pain of the world, the sin of the world on a cross. Don't you think that was making him be grieved in that moment? Don't you think that he felt some sort of way seeing the weight of what we did on that cross? God knows what we've gone through. We don't have a savior who doesn't know our weaknesses or doesn't know our pains. We know that our savior, our Lord, knows our pain, knows our hurt. He can carry it. And as a brother or sister in Christ, please, if there's people around you, give them hugs. Give them encouraging words if they're asking for it. Be careful and cautious to not just throw out many Bible verses to someone going through pain. Sometimes what they need isn't any words at all, but simply a listening ear. Sometimes all somebody needs is a conversation, somebody to show them that they're cared for, that they matter, that they're seen, that they're heard. Often we want to fix things with our words when all we really need to do is open our ears. The Word of God has given us the key to that. It says to be slow to speak, quick to listen, and slow to get angry. Why? Because if we spend more time listening, we're allowing the person to grieve. We're allowing a person to heal. Why do you think counseling works well for people? Oftentimes, it's because someone's finally listening and giving unbiased advice. Not advice for what I think is best and what I want you to do, but the advice that I think is going to benefit you. 
And that can be done in our own Christian walk. In our own Christian walk, we can choose to be there for people, to love on people, to show them a hope unlike any other. Let's do that together. Let's be energetic and energized to love on people. Let's have the joy of the Holy Spirit sustain us, even in that deep grief, pain, hurt, loss, depression, sadness, brokenness, whatever you want to fill in the blank with. All these things will come. But what we have to sustain us is not the things of this earth, but our trust and faith in the one who knows our name and knows our frame.